This photograph of a baby alone lying down is of my son Keith on the 26th of January 1948 when he was exactly four weeks old. The other photo shows him slightly older and being held by my mother's uh, eldest sister who was always known by me as Auntie Gran, although her name was Elizabeth Frances. She was a delightful lady, and I don't know what it was about her, but you couldn't help but really like her, because somehow or other, whatever she said and did, she put her foot in it, and people would laugh and say, there's our Gran, and, and they just knew that she didn't mean what she said, but she said it. I liked her enormously, and I have to say, if there was a problem, you could rely on her to help you out. If somebody was ill, there she would be saying, well, I'll sit with them if you have to go to the doctor or someone. And I'd, I just looked at her and I thought, there are some people that, they never seem to get much themselves in life, but they are so lovely that you remember them. And although she's now been dead so many years, I can still hear some of the things she said to me and see her going about doing things and doing it carefully and making sure it was just right. She had three children. One was called Dorothy May, and then four years later, she had one she called Phyllis Rosina. And then about three years after that, she had one boy and he was called Reginald Daniel. And when I commented on the name she'd got uh, given them, she said, don't you say that to me. They're beautiful names. I thought about a lot what to, to call them and I realised that I had hurt her feelings. So after that I began to find I liked their names. Oh, it's lovely to have memories like that.